Well, hello guys. This is Joe coming at you again with another video. This video I want to show you my hobo stove that I made out of a coffee coffee tin can. It's pretty simple to make. You can have a, find many tutorials on YouTube. It works perfectly. And I wanted to shoot a video and show you guys just how good this works. I made this little mesh pot stand to give a little extra room for airflow and it's very simple to use just put some small twigs that I have already prepared light it from underneath with a match or a lighter first you gotta start with very fine twigs in order for it to begin to work I have my, my, the rest of my firewood ready to my right if you can see it laying on the floor and it's lit okay now before the little twigs begin to burn out I'm gonna put some larger pieces I'm gonna feed the fire make a good bed of embers flame on and embers to cook my lunch today so this type of lunch that I'm going to be cooking is ultralight backpacking style through hiking lunch. I'm going to have some rice and some roasted garlic mashed potatoes. This thing you just need to add water. And I'm going to be using my cozy that I made out of this uh, protective windshield heat protecting material. I also made a uh, cozy for my titanium mug is my Keith titanium mug it was given to me by the company Keith to try and test and review thank you guys at Keith for this wonderful mug they also gave me a spoon that I'll show you just in a little while 650 milliliters perfect for backpacking ultra light very durable perfect excellent quality so first things first I'm gonna have to boil some water and for my meal, I'm going to be using about a cup, a little bit over a cup of water. Just place the water on top of the fire. You see the huge flames coming out with such a little wood, such a little amount of wood. Put the lid on for it to boil faster. And I'm not going to eat both bags of food. This is a lot of rice. And the other one is a lot of mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna try to mix the rice real well. The seasoning that's almost always at the bottom. I want it very well mixed with the rest of the rice. Open the bag up with my handy, handy Swiss Army knife. And yeah, it needs some extra shaking, mixing. So I'm gonna pour this in the freezer bag. You see that yellow stuff? That was all at the bottom that's the seasoning you want that very well mixed with the rest of the rice that's really important have good tasting rice I'm gonna put back the rice that I'm not gonna use as I said earlier this is a lot of rice so that's about it for my portion more than enough I'm gonna save the rest for later and I'll do the same with the mashed potatoes now the mashed potatoes don't need any mixing so I'm just gonna open the bag and just pour right in the amount of mashed potatoes that I would like to have and that's about it now this seems like very little amount of food but when you rehydrate it it uh, expands now I've mixed very well the mashed potatoes and the rice now it's just a matter of waiting for my water to boil so add more wood to the fire let's check how the water is doing it's getting there it's definitely getting there just a couple more minutes and it'll be boiling let me put this straight there you go look how the airflow goes from underneath the hobo stuff up and then the flames hit the pot perfectly I love this simple cheap DUI 
do-it-yourself kind of things. I like to do it. But this is the mashed potatoes and the rice all mixed together. Just waiting for the water to boil. This is my cozy that I was talking about. Made it from the sun protection for your windshield. You can find it, find it at any supermarket, dollar store. Very simple to make. If you are interested, I can make a tutorial about it. And the water is boiling. Yep. It's time to hydrate my meal. Perfect. Now this is the spoon that I I'm going to be using also. Given to me by my friends at Keith. It's a spork. Titanium. Long handle. Very, very lightweight. Very, very well made. And this is perfect for this type of meals because you can reach deep into the the bag of your food. You don't make a mess putting your fingers in the bag. So now carefully get your boiling water and pour the amount that you think it's necessary. Now I'm just eyeballing this stuff. I'm not measuring really. Think about a cup maybe a little bit more it's enough I have a little water left over but I think that's enough water now mix it as much as you can without scratching the bag you don't want any leaks so be really careful in this step mix the water with the con with the dry contents as best as you can Take the air out as best as you can because this is really hot so that's why it's difficult. The steam can burn your hands so be careful. And here comes the magic. You put your bag in the cozy, close the cozy with the velcro things that I put. At the bottom I don't know if you could see but I made the cozy in such a way that it will free stand just using some Gorilla Tape or Duct Tape a knife or scissors put your meal inside, you can see there close it up and let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes approximately okay so after 20 minutes I believe my meal is ready no leaks, that's a good sign Oh, the smell, it smells amazing, it's garlic mashed potatoes, oh, oh, this is hot. I need some protection because after 20 minutes it's still burning hot, that's how effective these cozies are. And my meal, let's see, it looks like it's cooked to perfection, man this is hot really really hot but it's very well cooked 20 minutes is more than enough and uh, let me show you how this looks mashed potatoes and rice lots of energy lots of calorie you're through hiking backpacking this is a perfect meal really lightweight really simple way to do it you just have to make it cozy you will save fuel. Mm, delicious. With that cozy, as I was saying, you can save fuel. You can save time for cutting wood from cutting wood. Or if you're using a stove, it's really convenient. Now, the rest of your meal that you didn't prepare, you can just put a rubber band around it. Fold the edges. And with that rubber band, make a nice compact airtight packet and you can use it later now I'm gonna enjoy my meal I know it doesn't look pretty appetizing but it tastes delicious and it's loaded with calories and energy 